welcome back friends welcome to lab 9 oh sorry lab 11 welcome back friends welcome to lab 11 install and configure heat heat orchestration on OpenStack Rocky we are running on Ubuntu 18.04 so the first step as usual is we need to switch to the super user and install the database so sudo su hyphen and let's uh, run mysql to create the database okay so first step is we need to create the database and uh, we are going to keep the simple things as you have watched my previous lab so I'll keep the things simple uh, create database database name is heat alright and we need to create uh, two users one for uh, a local host and one for uh, any other host name from anywhere else so first user created this is second user grant all privileges on heat dot star to heat at localhost and second is heat dot uh, heat at the rate percent sign means uh, from any network from any where he can connect now that's the job of the database database is created now we can exit from here and now what we should do is we should uh, execute our script let's source our script admin openrc what are the content of this file you can take a look at this admin openrc because this require the environment variables and we have set all the environment variables in the script so therefore to set all these we need to execute this script every time now we create service credentials all right and we'll keep the password simple so uh, openstack user create domain default password prompt heat and we are going to keep the password simple after that we create project also uh, you know I will add role right to this user admin role to this uh, user heat now user created next is we'll add this admin role to the user so openstack role add project service user heat and the role is admin second after that what we will do is we will create a service with the name heat the description and the details so create the service openstack service create name is heat description is the skillpedia orchestration and the name is orchestration and we'll more uh, we'll create one more service with the name cloud formation this service created and similarly we'll create one more service with the name cloud formation on the similar line okay openstack service create name is heat cfn description the skillpedia cloud formation and cfn stands for cloud formation and the name is cloud formation then we'll create endpoints for the service and we know uh, that everywhere every time we create the services we create endpoint uh, public endpoint this is endpoint for uh, uh, orchestration all right uh, this is uh, internal endpoint for orchestration and this is uh, admin endpoint for orchestration and this one is public endpoint for uh, cloud formation and this is public uh, internal endpoint for cloud formation and then finally the admin admin endpoint for cloud formation once these endpoints are created we'll create a heat domain that will contain the projects and the users for the stack so open stack domain create description is TSP stack project and users and the name is heat and then what we will do is we'll create the heat admin user to manage project and users in the heat domain so for that 
we'll use this command open stack user create heat domain is heat password prompt and heat domain admin all right and the password which we are keeping is heat domain pass let's keep the simple password which I have to remember because I have to enter it at one more location right the so password is created and finally we'll add admin role to this user so open stack role add domain is heat user domain heat user is heat domain admin and the role is admin and then we'll create the heat stack on a role we need a role let's create the role open stack role create heat stack owner and then what we need is we need to add the heat stack on a role to the demo project which we may require for practice all right and then finally what we need is we need to create the heat stack user role all right but even if the demo project is not existing no problem and we create the heat stack user role and that is done now we need to switch over to root user and we need to install some packages let's install the packages apt get install heat api heat api cloud formation heat engine we need to install these packages the installation is complete now we are going to edit the file etc heat heat.conf and we need to uh, make some changes into the default section all right so instead of uh, typing them one by one or identifying the values given in that file at different locations best is i copy directly and make an entry you know uh, in the file so transport url so transport url is rabbit openstack rabbit password heat metadata server url heat wait condition server url stack domain admin stack domain password and stack user domain right and these are the things if they are given anywhere else i'll just put them into comment i need i don't need them okay so uh, finally i'll go to the database section and make changes into the database section also so uh, there's nothing uncommented so i'm safe so let me go to the database section directly and this is the database section so in the database section as usual we need to put the database connection settings right so we'll put the database section here and the connection url mysql py mysql heat the username password and the host name and the database name once this is set we are good to go let's see if there is anything given here no nothing is given that's fine that's very good okay default setting is done uh, transport is done and now what we need to do is keystone auth token we need to go to that section right keystone auth token we need to make changes into this url as well right let's make an entry here also with keystone auth token okay so here these are the settings auth uri all right auth url memcache server auth type project domain name default right and uh, these are the things important point is we it should be www underscore authenticate underscore uri it is uh, not accepted this uri now so we need to put it www underscore authentication underscore uri <coughs> www underscore authentication underscore uri uh, take a look at uh, authenticate underscore URI. This is what it is. Authenticate www authenticate www authenticate. So www underscore authenticate underscore URI. Right. So uh, authenticate URI is good, and then uh, that part is okay. URL is fine, and uh, auth version and auth URL is fine because auth URL remain auth URI. 
now it is uh, done let's continue is there any uncommented line if no then fine I'm gonna, I can go to the next section next section is trusty trusty section and under this structure trusty section I need to put some variables here also and here I need to type this auth type auth URL right and uh, username and password ok this this is what I have done and finally I need to type the client keystone right I need to go to the section client keystone client underscore keystone so I don't see that clients it is clients underscore keystone yes here it is and I need to make this URL here also so auth URI and this is what I need for this also fine and that's all for this once this is created I'm going to populate the database so these are common steps if you have watched my previous lab steps are common so first we create services and credentials and users then we make changes into the configuration file and then we populate the database and finally last step will be we restart our services All right so let's restart the services heat api restart heat api cloud formation restart and then finally heat engine restart and to make them restart every time I can use systemctl enable enable each of these services let's go one by one heat api let me enable this and same way I will enable the rest of the services as well right so heat api cloud formation and finally I will enable heat api also sorry heat engine that's it now this is what the installation and configuration of heat let's take a look at uh, how it appears on the dashboard so we just uh, uh, right now this is the default settings what we have and what we will do is we will simply refresh it and we will see the orchestration appears on this and let's take a look okay team so you can see the option of orchestration now if you don't see it uh, even I was facing this issue I was not getting this orchestration option under this right so uh, stacks and resource types and everything now you can see the options these was options were not visible why what was the reason behind it the reason was we need to install uh, this additional software and additional extension that is Python heat dashboard we need to install this if it was not installed it will not show the option on the dashboard so I installed this and once the installation is complete I can see this option orchestration on the dashboard right so stacks and resource types and template versions and everything so how to work with it I will discuss in the session itself so right now the objective was installation and configuration and that's it thank you so much for watching bye bye take care